Hello, hello, and welcome. We are at Key Thrift Training Center, Home of of Florida. This is one of my favorite thrift stores. They have the dollar clothes, so we will probably be heavily looking at clothes, but I find some good other stuff too. Now, I just got a text message from the buyer of my $3,000 Disney piece, and she's very pleased, very happy, so that is like a relief. I am so happy to have heard that, so that transaction is complete, which is absolutely amazing. Now, we are gonna go in here, see what we can find. Whatever I find, we'll go into a thrift box for you. If you don't know already, I thrift, I double the cost, I sell it to my subscribers so they can resell it. I make sure there's enough room for profit with double the price. Now, I do offer it to my paid members first, so if you're not a member, definitely check that out if you're interested in the box. If you just wanna go watch and learn and see what I thrift, let's go. All right, so this is kind of the entryway into the thrift store. They have the bikes out here. They have kind of lawn and garden out here. And I typically look for garden flags out here. However, the last few times I have seen them, they have been priced a little high. Like this small one is priced at $4 and that's too much even if I were not to double it. Now, they also have pots. There was a really cool planter shelf out here last time. And sometimes I find the vintage aluminum lawn chairs, which is what I'm looking for over here. If you do not know, the aluminum lawn chairs with straps sell for 50 upwards of $100, $150. So keep your eye out for those. Now here, she was looking through these sheets and they had a dollar on them and it said plant sheets. And unfortunately, they marked big X's and Sharpie. So I don't know if you could get that out. If somebody knows if you could get Sharpie out of sheets, let me know. Cause like this one here that I'm looking at is a really cool vintage pattern. I was looking to see if there was a name brand because if there was, I was going to go ahead and pick it up even with the black marker and see if I would be able to get it out. But I was unable to find a brand name tag on it. Now, we are going to go in, we will look and see what sales they have going on. I will tell you, this is the store, there are dollar clothes. And I did not find out until the end, unfortunately, that they increased the boutique clothing to $5. So since I have been going here, it has been raised from three to four and four to five. But luckily, they have maintained the rest of the clothes at a dollar, so that is okay. There are some stuff in Boutique that I don't think should be there, but that's besides the point. Now, this egg looked really cool. I did open it up to see if it was branded. I think it was like musical. I was kind of trying to figure it out, so I was taking that out, and it looked like it took a battery. But uh, the music did not play, so I did decide to leave that there. Now, this starting lineup, 1996, this one was priced at four dollars so i decided to check it some of the sporting stuff like this can be worth quite a bit and you can see it actually is worth about twenty dollars but when i go to look and see if any have sold none have sold so i decided to leave that there now these i was looking at thinking of christmas presents and they're a really nice set of pajamas but unfortunately they had it priced at 650, which is just a little bit too high for me. So let's go and see exactly what we can find. Now, these are the women's shirts. You will notice I do not spend a ton of time in them because I really do not know the brands, but I am more looking to see if anything kind of stands out to me. And if it does, I will stop and kind of inspect further, but I am not great with the women's clothes. So we are gonna go over and walk into their craft room and see if we see anything in there. This is where their yarn, their fabric, their baskets, things like that are. And with the baskets, you typically wanna look for like smaller woven, like pine needle baskets to do well, also Native American woven baskets, and there's also some nice South African baskets as well, but I did not see any there that day. Now here we have moved over to the women's shirts. This was Under Armour. I, th I thought it was shorts, but I think it was actually a skirt. I was trying to 
figure it out. So again here I'm doing the same thing and I am trying to see if anything stands out to me. I just browse, you'll notice I do not look through every single item in the women's sections and that's simply because of lack of knowledge. So I do advise stick with what you know. If you know more women's clothes then definitely do that. For me I tend to pick up more men's clothing because I just I feel like I know more brands and can kind of tell what's better made now this is a bathing suit and I know it's December but it's only a dollar and this one is Jacqueline Smith I think it'll go for about $15 not a big sale but it is size 18 so it is bigger and it should sell well the larger sizes tend to sell a little bit better online for most brands in my experience. So I do always like to look and see if I see bigger sized clothing and that goes for both men and women's clothing. Those bigger sizes will sell better. And even in the off season, you have to remember people are still going to cruises and going to the islands and they're going to places that are warm as well as if you have international shipping turned on you've got buyers in multiple countries so definitely don't pass up the bathing suits in winter and don't pass up the coats in summer because you could be missing out on a lot of profit so now we're going to go and check out some of the knickknacks over here they have most of the knickknacks on this middle row here and i always check them out for sure it, it really depends on my mood whether I check them first or last. That little heart jewelry box had some pretty bad stains inside and I don't think it was very valuable to begin with so I definitely am not going to get it with the stains that were on it. And sometimes I do this middle aisle first, sometimes I hit the clothes first. It really just depends on A how I'm feeling and B where the people are. You can see I go towards where there are not people because I'm not trying to bump into everyone when there's this big thrift store. Now we are in the women's pants and jeans and I really probably should look up like some top brands for women's khaki pants that way I can look through the khakis for those brands. So you can do a little bit of research on eBay by searching a generic term like that like women's khaki pants. Go to the sold items and filter from highest to lowest then you will see those top dollar brands and know what to look out for while you're outsourcing. Now these red ones I believe were actually some scrub pants that were in with the jeans versus being in where the scrubs are but I did not recognize the brand and I will tell you guys one of the multicolored jeans Adriana Goldsleeve I think it is her jeans sell very very well but I didn't see any there. I just thought of that when I was looking at those colored jeans because those can be really high sellers. Now here at the jeans I definitely look for Levi's which is actually what this pair here is and with Levi's I tend to get them no matter what size they are especially if they're only a dollar and these here I actually I ended up throwing away. I think the name of them was Royalty Make Your Butt Better, but the crotch was ripped out. I can see it in the video, and I saw it when I went to put the boxes together. So I ended up throwing that pair away because I didn't want to pass it on. Now these are some Levi's Signature Series, definitely got those, and just thumbing through. Now you see like with the jeans, at least the regular colored jeans, I do thumb through every pair versus the pants where I don't know as many brands. I tend to kind of just look and see if anything catches my eye and then I, I pretty much skim them. And we are going to go now and go over and look at some more pants. These are like the black colored pants and these are all plus size pants. So I definitely look through the plus size because as I said earlier those definitely sell well. Now this rip pair is actually 
Abercrombie and & Fitch. And I believe this is Buttonfly. I believe these jeans should go for about $40 to $50. So I did pick those up. And then I was also looking at the maternity wear. You guys have told me a couple of brands, but I don't remember. So definitely if you're a clothing seller, tell me. Now, what are these pants? They like have where the sides go out like crazy hips. Maybe there are some riding pants. I'm not sure what they are, but they didn't have a brand. So I decided to leave them there. And then you can see they have tons and tons of bras here. And I, I looked through the bras. I did not get any this day, but definitely look for ones that look better made. Also look for larger sizes because larger sizes tend to be a little bit harder for people to find in the store. So they do sell well online and that goes for clothing items as well. Now here I am still in the women's and these are the scrubs this is a pair of or not a pair it is a sketcher's scrub top again remember all of these clothes unless they are boutique are only a dollar so i did pick that sketcher's scrub top up and i think it should sell for about 12 to 15. so i'm looking here at brands and i probably could have looked through the bras a little bit better i looked through them a little bit but not a ton and then i kind of was like okay i've had enough of this and i'm definitely not looking at the panties now here are some more women's shirts and these i look through i'm not sure why they had them over here this one definitely caught my eye i did pick this one up i did some comps i think it only sell for about 12 to 15 but i think that they will definitely that it will sell it's a very pretty print and here they have some pajama pants they also have nightgowns these are more lingerie i definitely look at the brands i know victoria's secrets one i definitely look out for other than that i tend to just look for vintage brands so if you know some brands of lingerie that sell well definitely drop that down in the comments so that myself and other viewers can learn those brands. And I was looking for Dalton some new shoes there, but I didn't see any that were his size. Now, these are the nightgowns, but nothing stood out to me as either being well-made or a name brand that I knew. And those are the two things I look for is pretty much vintage. Now, this is a sunbay and I have sold, that's actually a bathing suit cover up. It's not a regular robe, but the one I sold was a very, very bright, and I felt like that one was just a little more plain, and I really didn't think that it would sell well. So we're going to check out the hats. Their hats here, I think they're $2. They used to be a dollar, but I think they are $2 now. And I always kind of dig through here just to see what I might find, because they just kind of pile them in there. So sometimes at the thrift store, you definitely have to dig to find better stuff and now i noticed over here on the return rack here is a pair of levi's and those i definitely grabbed i did leave the sonomas behind but i picked up the levi's denizens so don't forget to check those return racks as well and here this is a mini mouse it's one of the hats from disney world or Disneyland and those look like they sell pretty well for about $15 so for a dollar or two I think that was a good pickup and the sell-through rate was great on those now this was a home assassin springs hat but it didn't have a manatee or anything that I thought would be interesting and good to keyword it so I did end up putting that one back and nothing much else there so we are going to move on we are going to check out the shoes and see what we see in the shoes and this store as well as the sheriff's ranch that i went to yesterday i have found quite a few pairs of good shoes now these are airwalk crocs they were 450 i did not comp them in the store i picked them up without looking but with Airwalk and Croc, I figured there would be a pretty decent market for that. And it looks like those sell for about $30 used, which is 
good and the sell through rate is good and whoever gets that box I would use tie dye as a keyword and here you can see I am comping some sandals that I saw and some sold high but unfortunately there were quite a few that only sold for six dollars as well which scared me so I did decide to leave those I don't like picking up items that I see a lot of lower comps on unless I see the actual shoe and an exact comp to know that it is a higher value. Now I'm going to go look at the purses. I will tell you guys, typically their purses here are priced on the higher side. So I very, very rarely get them unless it is the 50% off sale time. But I definitely look just in case there are some higher dollar purses out there. I haven't found any here but there's always a chance so i always look through this one was new with tag but it was actually a generic like walmart or target tag so i did decide to put that one back and then this one in the back looked really really neat so i actually am gonna check a comp for that and i think they had a like six or seven so here you can see there are some listed at like 20 30 and i'm gonna go again and look at sold because sold is what matters and there were only 17 sold and some of them sold low so i did decide to leave that one there now this is their boutique section most of this stuff is new with the tags but with it being five dollars now that's a little bit high so you would have to find some pretty high-end clothing in order to pay for that now this is another it, it's not boutique but it says it's outerwear so all of the outerwear like sweatshirts jackets things like that are now five dollars but i do look through because there could be some valuable i did see the scatlinburg tennessee lime green sweatshirt hoodie and i did pick this one up it is a large i picked it up still thinking it was four but i still think at five there's room for profit and then this one you can see that like neon pink and neon blue so i am going to look up comps to see if i can find anything like that to see if that one might be worth it but it looks like they're mainly around twenty dollars and there were only three sold so i did decide to leave that one there and then here i noticed this really bright colorful one and stuff like this sells it tends to be more like the pinks blues and purples but I'm gonna look it up just in case because I really don't want to leave money on the shelf so to speak now here you can see some of them are like 40 20 and when I go to sold though there are only six sold and 60 listed so that's only about a 10% and you see the one that sold for 60 is like a bright pink and gold and that one's a little more it's bright colors but they're more like neutral tone colors versus like the neon pink and I look at the jean jackets because a lot of Levi jean jackets sell for good money and I went over to the shirts this one is not in the outerwear it is a regular shirt this is a Chicago Bears it's actually an XL tall and it's a really cool tie-dye print and i think this is a very eye-catching the only one that i saw listed on ebay was 23.99 so for a dollar i definitely picked that one up and you guys are gonna see i found tons of shirts i did put this navy guy harvey one back because there was quite a bit of pilling around the neck and i don't like to have to remove it so i didn't i don't pick up anything that I would not pick up myself and you'll see here with the men's shirts I do go through most of them this is Bryce Canyon shirt that is of course a destination shirt I picked that one up that one should go for about 20 to 25 dollars and then here this one I saw the Notre Dame one but it was a smaller size so I did decide to leave that one there now here this one felt very, very nicely made. I want you guys to remember this brand, Southern Tide. The sell-through rate on this brand is over 100%. Keep your eye out. That was like a fishing shirt, and they sell very well. And then here's a long sleeve Outer Banks, North Carolina shirt. Again, a destination shirt, and those definitely sell very well. And here, 
is another brand that I did not know that has over 100% sell-through rate. The brand on that one is Drake, and I could just tell by feeling it that it was made very nice, and that one was only a dollar as well. So when you're finding these dollar items that'll go for $30, $40, $50, the profit percent is quite high on that. So if, if you're lucky enough to have a dollar clothing thrift store, look through the stuff. Now here's another really nice Foot Joy Polo, size extra large, I believe. It is Hunter Green. It was in great condition and for only a dollar, definitely had to pick that one up. And you can see I'm going side to side here because I don't want to go down the aisle twice to have to look at each side. Now this is an Auburn football shirt. I don't know if that's a vintage or not, but for a dollar, it should sell for at least, I would say 12 to 15, if not 20. And then I saw this Cafe Luna and this one is Distortion. And you guys know I love the Hawaiian shirts. The big thing with these Hawaiian shirts is being able to keyword. So that last one I had had Bird of Paradise. You can put tropical, you can put Hawaiian and that's what sells them. I also picked up that Real Legends that was a lightweight polo and again a dollar a lot of these are kind of no-brainers because even if you get 12 to 15 dollars you are making five to ten times your money i do double the prices so you are paying two dollars each this one was a really nice silk and linen mix and it just felt again felt very very well made which is what i am looking for here is another a Callaway golf polo. The golf polos tend to sell pretty well. They don't sell really high, but they do sell good. And that one I was not familiar with that school, so I did decide to leave that one behind. And we are just trying to see what else we can find here for a dollar. And here, this is another brand. This is Rock Mount. These sell for 40 to $50 didn't have a size but I would put it up to another shirt because you could get $50 for that it seems like it's a pretty well-known western clothing brand and then here you will see I found this really nice striped polo this is actually a Nike dry fit polo for a dollar love the dollar clothes guys not a big clothes person, but when I can get them for a dollar, then I am happy. Now, this is an Eli Cattleman, another Western brand that sells very, very well. That was an XL Tall, which is a great size. So I definitely picked that one up as well. Another one that has a great sell-through rate as well. So watch for the Western, like the Pearl Snap shirts, because the sell-through rate on those is good. And if you get a really fantastic pattern, you might be looking at $50 to $100. Now, I am looking at the clothes to see if I see anything for Dalton, just because I'm here. So I figured I might as well, but there was nothing for Dalton. And as I was walking down this aisle, I don't normally look at these women's shoes, but this pair caught my eye. They almost reminded me of Crocs, but when I picked them up, they actually felt pretty light and they did not feel like they were well-made. It was not a brand I recognized, so I did decide to leave those there. And here we are in the black colored shirt. And I've told you guys before, black has been the best color for me to find vintage shirt, especially your Harley shirt and like rock and concert shirts tend to be on black as well so if you're gonna just look in one area of the t-shirts if your thrift store color codes i would definitely check out i'd probably check out black and white because those are probably the two most common for vintage and like the destination and concert t-shirts so here this is a creative cycle works, but the graphics weren't that great on there. So I did decide to leave that one there and we're kind of going backwards the way that I'm going. Now this shirt I saw 
and this one is actually a Harley shirt. So this is Pacific Harley Davidson, Honolulu, Hawaii. So I got that, of course, for a dollar. This one you guys will not see in the thrift box. I actually am going to give it to my 22-year-old son for Christmas because I think he would like that. And I believe that's like Marilyn Monroe, if I'm not mistaken. And a lot of times if you find like the one Harley shirt, you'll typically find more because if people donate, they tend to donate more than one. Not always, but a lot of the times you will. The last time I found a lot of Harley shirts, I believe I found 15 or 20 in one thrift trip. And that was at this store as well. And this store puts out all during the day. Now, this is embroidered. It is a 3X. It is a Jamaica shirt. So another destination shirt for a dollar. Definitely picked that up. And you do have to look through them, which again, I do not always have the patience for it, but when they're so cheap, I got to do it. Now here is a 76 bike week anniversary. This one is not vintage. It's from 2016 or 17 and I got it. I do feel like that would sell. Now here is a, another shirt. This one felt like it was well-made and this is another one that sold very well the sell-through rate was very well and you will see that at the end in the thrift boxes and a lot of stuff that i found i will let you guys know is not seen in this video because my gopro dies it, it dies here pretty shortly so don't go anywhere because i am going to show you everything in the hall now there was a pineapple hawaiian shirt which i definitely picked up and then here is another harley shirt and this one was really nice with the skull and my gopro is about to die so i'm going to show you the haul all right so here is box number one and it has this southern marsh performance shirt and all of these i paid a dollar for except the gatlinburg sweatshirt i did pay five um so this one should go for about 25 dollars and then these two are Tara and Sky pants. Those should go for about 15 each. This one is Campa Moda, Campia Moda. And this one should go for probably about 15 to 20. This Harley shirt is a 3X. That one should go for about, probably about 20. And then there are Denizen by Levi's. Those are 15 to 20. Real Legends Polo, about 15 This one is Tasso Ella Island. I believe this should go for about 25 And then there's this really pretty floral lemongrass shirt. That should go for about 15 A Skechers top, that's about 10 to 15 And then the Gallenberg sweatshirt hopefully will go for about $30. So in all, I am $15 into this box. It is going to be 20 for shipping. It is going to be heavy. So it will be 30 plus 20. So it will be $50 for this box. And stay tuned because there's a lot of stuff I found after my GoPro died. So let's take a look at some more now. All right, this is box number two. It includes 10 pieces. These are all shirts. There is a Pacific Harley Davidson. This one is a sleeveless. All of these were a dollar every single one of these were a dollar this one should go for 15 to 20 this no problem mon jamaica is a 3x that should go for 25 i would say that is a jacqueline smith size 18 bathing suit very nice should go for about 15 to 20 daytona bike week shirt should go for about 15 and then there's this nice dry, nike dry fit polo this one should go for about 15 to 20 this rock mount says custom fitted, so you're gonna have to put it up to other shirts to get a size. This could go for up to $50. And then the Callaway polo should go for about 15 to 20. The Eli Cattleman is an XL tall, that should go for about 20. And then there is an Auburn football t-shirt, that should go for about 15. And this Bryce Canyon shirt should go for about 15 to 20. So I am $10 in on this box. So it will be $20 to you. Plus it'll be 15 in shipping for a total of $35. Now there is some non-clothing things, so don't go anywhere. 
All right, this is going to be box number three. This one is all shirts as well. This brand is Distortion. These are some cool Bird of Paradise. I do wanna say with any of these Hawaiian shirts, guys, keywording is what sells them. So make sure you keyword them well. This one has Bird of Paradise and some tropical flowers. So this one will go for about 15 to 20. And then there is this Foot Joy Polo. I think that'll go for 20 to 25. This is a really cool XL Tall Chicago Bears tie-dye shirt. There's only one listed for 24 and it's not a tall. I would list this at about 30. And then the Campamodia Southern Tide is a really good brand. I could tell this shirt was well made. This one could go upwards of 40 to 50. And the same with this Drake Vented one. Both of these two have sell-through rates of over 100%. Keep an eye out for those brands. Again, it's Southern Tide and Drake. And then two more, a Campamodia and Cafe Luna. And then this Outer Banks, North Carolina. So this box I only paid nine for. So this one will be $18 plus 15 shipping. And now we're gonna take a look at the non-clothing items that I found. All right, this is going to be box number four. Four. So this is kind of a mixed box. I thought I had found all the clothes. I had not. So this will have these Levi signature jeans. These are Abercrombie Boyfriend. So the Levi's I think will go for 15 to 20. These should go for 35 to 50. It looks like they comp pretty high. These micro machines I paid a dollar. These go for about 20. And then this is a nice art glass plate that was made in Ecuador with the rose there. Really pretty trinket dish or whatever. And then the Bugs Bunny is a Kurt Adler. Kurt S. Adler. I want to call him Sadler. These Airwalk tie-dye. I did pay $4.50. I think those should go for about $30.35. I paid $3.50 for the Betsy Johnson cup. Brand new though with tags. That should go for about 20 to 25. And then this Mickey hat should go for about 15. These two scrapbook pages, I would sell individually. I paid two each. It looks like they go for about $15 each. So not bad. And then there are two each of these patterns of the rooster patterns. Those I paid $2 for. So overall, I am into this box, $22. So it's gonna be $44 and then it will be 20 in shipping as well it is going to be heavy so this box will be 64 dollars and that is the end of everything so i hope you guys enjoyed my finds i am going to get to listing and get this stuff packed up i will see you tomorrow dalton would you like to tell everybody goodbye give them blow kiss